Wait is what Valentine Day disasters have you witnessed? I blew my car's tire and my friend came in to bail me out. Were both straight dudes, and forgot it was Valentine's. Decided to have dinner and both were coming from important meetings so had suits on. We didn't catch on until the end on how the entire wait staff thought we were just the cutest gay couple. I served at a Japanese hibachi restaurant and once had a couple come, and the dude dumps her after the meal. She then gets up, and throws up a trail probably a good 20 feet as she runs to the bathroom. The dude got up, and left the girl, and I was left to clean the mess. There was a note in our reservations, that it was an engagement. They wanted champagne. A specific seat. Bunch of other stuff. The server comes up to the table with something like, so I read we are celebrating an engagement. Congratulations. Confusion from the woman. Glaring from the guy. He hadn't proposed yet. She ruined it. These two were on a date and the guy went to go use the bathroom. The girl just up, and leaves after he went to the restroom. When the guy came back he sat around for a while until asking his waitress where she went. She replied with saying that she left. The guy then asked the waitress, if she would go on a date with him. The waitress said no. They came in at lunch the day after. So it was pretty empty, but it was still for a Valentine's Day date. They were both pretty nice at the beginning. The guy asked for a picture and whatnot. As the meal went on, the dude got progressively drunker, and by the time I brought the check out, the woman was gone. When the dude gave me his card, he said I'll give you a bit of advice. If you're taking a girl out, to break up with her, do it at a McDonald's, and not an expensive restaurant. Not a waiter. But in my strip club bouncer days we had one of our regulars get sweeted up, and bring flowers in one V-Day to try and woo one of the dancers. It did not work. Pro tip. If every time you'll hang out it involves you giving her money. She is not into you. He proposed. She said no. He cried and tried to change her mind for 20 minutes, while she sat there stony faced. She finally got up and walked out. He paid and left in tears. I had a section 1 V-Day that had a marriage proposal, a 40th anniversary, and a breakup all at the same time. The breakup was the worst. The guy brought his high class data gift. A mini ceramic bear holding balloons. He presented it when I was at the table and she looked at it like it was a hot turd. I just knew this was not going to end well. She left at the end of the meal and must have said something because he stayed at the table for another 40 minutes. Head down and crying. I felt bad. He saw the celebrations going on at the other tables. A guy did a backflip and asked a girl to be his valentine. She declined. I walked up to him and asked if he was fine. He said it took him a week to perfect. I was eating in a fine dining establishment. Chili's. Several years ago. In the next booth was a really young guy who had a big bunch of roses on the seat next to him. He kept looking at his watch, looking at the roses, and popping open a ring box for a peek at the ring. He did this for a half hour or so, then began calling and texting someone, presumably his girlfriend, over and over, as we were waiting for our check. He hands my wife the roses, mumbled something, and walked out. Poor guy. Edit. I don't consider chill as a fine dining experience. My wife and I had done some shopping, and stopped off for a burger and beer afterwards. Had a couple sign divorce papers and cry a bunch. A guy proposed to his girlfriend, and she said no. The guy threw his arms up, and ran out of the building. Later, while waiting for someone to pick her up, she told us it was completely out of the blue. Because they'd only been dating for a few months. Another V-Day. A guy raised a huge fuss over the fact that we wouldn't serve liquor to his underage girlfriend. A 16 year old boy proposed to a 15 year old girl with a cheap ring and the whipped cream of her dessert. She said yes. Old man proposed to old woman. He tried to get off the chair to kneel. Tripped and fell, and I assume broke something, since he couldn't get back up, and we had to call an ambulance. My manager had to drive her teeth to the hospital separately, because she had taken them out to eat her soup. Lord knows why. And left them on the table in the confusion. Edited to add. I don't know if she said yes. 
My manager didn't get to see them at the hospital. Only pass on her teeth to the nurse. Thank you kindly for the gold and silver though. Gus boy on Las Vegas strip. An attempted proposal. Dude tries to set up sign with GF's friends for her to show up, and see the ring near a fountain. Duck stole the ring. They found it two hours later as he dropped in the fountain. She still said yes. Free drinks were given. Not my table. But back in my olive garden days. We had a man who looked to be in his mid-twenties tap his empty wine glass with a fork, to call for attention of the surrounding strangers. Then get down on one knee with silver band in hand. And ask his girlfriend slash date, to accept this promise ring. She looked horrified start to finish. In college I waited tables and Valentine's Day was always a good one in terms of tips. I once saw a couple come in to eat. Halfway through the dinner the man's wife shows up to surprise the couple. The wife took the wine bottle, and poured the remnants on the husband's head. Took off her ring, and told the girlfriend she could have him. He tipped me a $100. Had a man and woman sharing dessert and the man playfully put a bit of the ice cream on her nose she then did the same, and he did it back once more, but with a different flavor of ice cream. She the flipped out at him. Because you know I like chocolate the most why, would you waste it you idiot. In the end she stormed out cause the man couldn't comprehend how much she was blowing up the situation. TLDR. Man put ice cream on woman's nose she is fine with it the first time. The second time she rages and leaves. I was working as a waitress in a sushi restaurant and Valentine's Day was an all hands on deck shift. This guy I had just started seeing wanted to go out. But I told him, that working in food service, you never get Valentine's Day off, and we just have to celebrate the day after, or the weekend after. Nope. He got so upset that he went, and asked a different girl out. Came to the restaurant I worked at on V-Day, and sat in my section. He then proceeded to spend the entire evening making a fool out of himself, and making his date uncomfortable as he tried to make me jealous. Needless to say we didn't go out again. Ever. I set my hair on fire, and spilled a full stellar on a lady. I work in a causal fine dining steakhouse. Luckily for me, the lady I spilled the stellar on was super understanding and her husband said from across the table well now she has to take her pants off. So that could have gone worse for me. Not really much of a disaster. But last year my work called me up. Hey buddy. We know you're single. Can you come in as an extra shift tonight? IDK but I'll find out Friday cause I work a ducking double. And it's Applebee's. Update. Sorry Reddit. I've been working a crap ton, and haven't had a minute to update you guys. So basically, Valentine's Day at Applebee's, wasn't much different than any other Friday night working there. But, I will say, a lot of people were stingy as duck with their tips. And I mean a lot of people. Also, there was a couple who dined and dashed. And there was a dude who got stood up. Other than that, it was about as trashy as normal. Happy belated Valentine's Day everybody. Back to work I go. Two failed marriage proposals on the same Valentine's Day. The first one simply said no I can't do this. And walked out. The second one stared like a deer frozen in the headlights for an excruciating 30 seconds before muttering, let's talk about this later. They stayed for the rest of their six course V-Day special dinner. Eating and making painful small talk. Saw a couple have a full on argument at a restaurant. I wasn't their server, but the table was directly in the center of the restaurant and they were certainly loud enough for everyone to hear. My manager kindly asked them to leave, and the guy's response was to yell I've been wanting to do that crap for two years now and stormed out. Worked at a chain BBQ restaurant. Was a line cook, but could see in the dinning room. Had a lady and her kids. Early teens. Come in turn to be seated. She started to freak out. Crying. Yelling and left. Turns out the table in the corner, was her husband and another lady in a date. A girl that I work with went to lunch on Valentine's Day at an expensive restaurant her boyfriend had gotten a reservation for. She got dressed up nice was, was going on about how sure she was, that he was going to propose. He broke up with her. I walked up to a table, and was about to drop off the bill. Caught the end of it's over. Guy looked at me dead in the eye, and said to split that duck in check. 
right now. A few years ago, I had finished my shift at a pub I was working at, and sat at the bar with a drink. There were still a few couples sat in the restaurant, but the boss let me clock off early. I had a pint before leaving, and at a table nearby, it sounded like a proposal was about to happen. A few people went quiet listening in. Then, it happened. Guy, Hannah, will you marry me? He was kneeled in front of his girlfriend. Her sat down. Girl, Hannah, who the is Hannah? She yelled. Threw her drink at him and walked out. Guy paid and walked out. Looking very red. Probably not the kind of story you're looking for. But one Valentine's Day at my restaurant we got totally slammed, and the kitchen started melting down. In the middle of dinner service the head chef freaked out. Threw a side of salmon at one of the line cooks and walked out. Someone showing up for a date and you both realize about 30 minutes and she ain't coming. Drinks on me buddy. Small. Fine dining restaurant. Man from my table, goes to the restroom, and is gone for a while. Probably 10 minutes. Which for a restaurant is a while. As I'm passing by the restroom he's all PSSSS. Ushering me to the side and hurriedly whispering that he needs to leave through the kitchen. Because his wife's best friend was sat near he and his date. Who of course as I learned then and there is not his wife. We box the remaining courses up and do a walk of shame through the kitchen. He's pissed. She's crying. All while the rest of us are stifling our laughter. He ended up tipping well on the prick spikes. Which was nice. Couples who are close to the spring breakup trying to save everything on one meaningless holiday dinner. You see at least one every year. I waited on one of the owners of the restaurant I was working at with his girlfriend and her tween kids. Kinda weird. But probably didn't get a babysitter. He had been dating this woman for a number of months. But it was his first Valentine's Day on a date, that wasn't his wife in decades. I don't think he was ready. But he was there to support the business. He broke down crying during dinner, and it was heartbreaking. They left early. Not really a disaster, but this guy came in, and said he was waiting for his date. He stayed for 5 hours waiting, and she never showed. He eventually ordered four for himself, and asked that I remove the other glass of water from the table. He said it was their first date. My own. When my GF got sick on the train home, two guys tried to sexually harass the two of us. Only to get back to her car at 3.30am and realize she had no gas. After I managed to drive us home on MT, I saw a note on the dining room table. Apparently, my roommate had been taking the one. 100 I was giving him each month for rent, and using it to pay off his fines and fees from his recent DUI, and hadn't paid the rent for 3 months and we were on the verge of eviction. Now no one will know why this got so many upvotes. I worked at a sports bar every couple there on Valentine's Day was a divorce waiting to happen. A nice lady brought her kid in for dinner, got seated at a table next to her husband and his mistress. I saw a couple have a full blown argument in the middle of the restaurant. The woman stood up, took her ring off, threw it at him and walked out. The man continued his meal, had dessert and then paid the bill, left a pretty big tip for the inconvenience and left. I was waiting on a couple in their early 40s on Valentine's Day in an Irish pub. The dude was head to ankles camo and rude. She was decently dressed for a date at the pub and very pleasant. She thanked me for working on Valentine's Day, and said I probably have someone I'd rather be with and he said, PFFF. She's too skinny. Who would want her? I only spoke to her for the rest of the meal. Was the chef at a pretty fancy place. We did four course tasting prick spikes, and were always booked to the brim for Valentine's. The owner was out of town and the place was packed during our first seating, when the pipes to the apartment above the restaurant burst. Nasty. Cold water rained on everyone and everything. Fire department came. Owner said to give everyone champagne. Clean the place up and keep going. As if anyone wanted to continue their meal soaked through on a cold ass night in ceiling water. I know I'm late, but while working at a sushi bar in college I witnessed a blind Valentine's Day date where the guy who showed up was already the girl's ex-boyfriend. Hey, I was the disaster. I was a new server, and horrible. 
I dumped an entire tray on the floor. My bad. Edit. I'm loving all the servers sharing their stories. For everyone still in the business. May the odds be ever in your favor for Valentine's Day. May your customers tip well and not be assholes. Somewhat related. I'm an RN and previously worked in a jail. We offered free STD testing and treatment. Had one guy get the news that he was positive for gonorrhea and chlamydia on Valentine's. How's that for a V-Day? Fortunately he had a good sense of humor about it. For the unaware. These are both fairly treatable diseases. Just wait till Saturday and this question again. The comments will be even more gold. Mid 1980s. A couple enjoyed a meal at a two top that I waited on. All was well. But midway through dinner the area began to smell like someone farted. It did not go away. The man complained. And I apologized. Noting that it wasn't the restaurant and there was little I could do. The woman tried to calm the man down. But he asked for the check early. Demanded a discount. Which we gave him. And stiffed me on the tip. They are left. The woman left a skid mark of crap on her chair. Edit. Spelling. This couple was double dating. And waiting for the other couple. We were running one pound lobster tail special. And we ran out. The wife went ape crap on me. Furious about the whole situation. Their friends wind up bailing on them. And the wife gets more angry. Husband takes my GM to the side to apologize for her. And they decide to leave. And gives my GM 40 bucks to give to me.